Worship is more than just a daily, weekly, or a monthly ritual. It is a lifestyle. And God is inviting us, He's calling us for a lifestyle of holiness and consecration. Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. So scripture exhorts us, encourages us to present our bodies as a living sacrifice. When we praise God, when we come before Him, when we with praises and thanksgiving, it is a sacrifice acceptable to Him. And this scripture teaches us that we are to present our bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to Him. So when we present our bodies, when we present the members of our bodies, our thoughts, our actions, our everything as holy, as something holy, as something consecrated to Him, it is a sacrifice, it is an offering that is acceptable to Him. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 and 20 Or do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you? whom you have from God, and you are not your own, for you were bought at a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So verse 19 says that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And verse 20 says that uh, asks us to glorify God in our body. So when we do that, when we overcome temptations, when we live our life in holiness and consecration, despite overwhelming temptations, when we say yes to God, and when we say no to sin, daily, in our daily routines, maybe in office, maybe in place of work, wherever we are, when we do that, we are actually having or living a lifestyle of holiness and consecration. And we are offering our bodies as a living sacrifice to God continually. And it is well acceptable and pleasing to Him. So God is interested in a lifestyle of worship, a lifestyle of holiness and consecration. And it is something not just for some people, but for all believers. And He's inviting us to this lifestyle of worship. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you're inviting us to a lifestyle of holiness and consecration. And when we offer our bodies as a living sacrifice, it is something that is acceptable and well-pleasing to you. Father, thank you for reminding us of that. And even as we go through this day and the days ahead, Lord, we pray that we make a conscious choice to say yes to you, yes to holiness, and yes to righteousness and no to unrighteousness and sin. And Father God, even when we do that, in spite of overwhelming temptations, we know that it is a sacrifice, that it is an offering of worship to you, acceptable to you. And we choose to do that. We choose to live such a life. We thank you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.